Hello everyone, it's JoshiEgg56 here and welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can apply this widescreen patch to your ROM, which will make your Super Mario 64 game look a lot smoother and a lot nicer. Because it will not stretch your game, but instead will make it look proper widescreen. Let me do a little demo here. So you can see here the GUI looks fine, there's no stretching going on. Mario is not fat if you get what I mean. Trees look nice, everything looks nice. So yeah, that's basically what this patch does. This patch was created by Game Master PLC. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. And uh, other than that, we'll uh, get to how you can apply this patch to your own room. So let's get into it. Alright, to get started you need the first link in the description. That will take you to this widescreen patch created by Game Master PLC as said. Just go ahead and save this. Then you need the second link in the description. That will take you to this page of Lunar IPS. You want to click this Lunar IPS link here where it says between brackets WinZip file. Just click that and just open it. It might look a little bit different uh, than I have here, but this is like the defaults that most people have. You should see two files, lunarips.exe or without exe depending on your settings and a readme. We just need the lunar ips. Just double click that and you might get a warning like me, just click run. Then you can close the zip file, we don't need that anymore. First of all, we need to do some preparations. Just go to your directory where your ROM is stored. I've got a nice ROM directory here. For the demo, I use this widescreen ROM here. So what I recommend you would do is make a copy of your ROM, then just rename it, right click and rename, and then just put widescreen so you know it's the widescreen ROM and you'll keep your original ROM as is. Now we'll go ahead and patch this widescreen ROM we just created. Go back to Lunar IPS and click Apply IPS Patch. Now it asks where the uh, IPS patch is. So just browse to your downloads directory or wherever your downloads are stored and you should see the widescreen patch. Just double click that and then it asks where the ROM is that it should patch. So here's my ROM directory and you can see no items match your search. That is because Lunar IPS doesn't recognize the ROM as a ROM, which is a little bit weird, but um, we can fix that. Just go over here where it says most common ROM files and click all files. Then just double click the copy of the ROM you just created, the widescreen ROM. And then it should say patching complete. And then you can close Lunar IPS. Now we just need to do a couple of settings on Project 64 and then you should be good to go. So let's go to Project 64. All right, once you get Project 64 open, just go ahead and open your ROM. And here you can see the uh, aspect ratio doesn't look really good because it is square as you can see that's the default of project 64 if you have not set it differently if you have set it to widescreen already just skip this step and you can also see that we get the black screen we'll fix both first of all to make it widescreen go to options and then configure graphics plugin then this windowed resolution that's what you want to change set it to one of these five last items in the list here. All of these are widescreen resolutions. It depends a bit on your screen size how big you can make the window. So this is the biggest you can make it with the default Project 64. So I'll go ahead and use that because it fits on my screen. And now we only need to fix the blank screen. That is really easy. Just go to options and then settings. Click config Super Mario 64 on the left here and change the memory size from four to eight. Click apply and okay. Now go ahead and click system, reset, soft reset, or just press F1. Here we go, your ROM should reset. You should see that it is nice and widescreen, no black bars. And you should also see that it boots to the start screen. 
So congratulations, you successfully applied the widescreen patch to your Super Mario 64 ROM. I hope this tutorial was helpful, leave a like if it was, and check out my channel if you want to see more gaming content, and then I hope to see you around. Bye bye!